Hello once again, I'm Naomi McLaughlin and I'm live on Facebook, quickly sharing this over to my private page and to the other groups so nobody actually misses this live stream. And once again, I've seen and noticed that you've watched the replay from yesterday. Thank you ever so much. This is amazing because I actually realize how important it is to record each, each session and then share it with you afterwards. And I've actually also gotten around to upload the first two, so the one made in Scotland and then the first video after I've returned um, and shared that one on to, uh, what's it called? Where did I share it to? to towards YouTube, <laughs> right? Okay, so one is shared right now, so let me just ready and share it towards my personal page as I said before important important okay awesome now I can fully concentrate on you so if you have comments today any questions I'm happy to answer them and as you can see from the title from today as I promised yesterday today I'm gonna talk about how I actually make it hassle free i mean we all want to hassle right but we don't want to hassle in the wrong areas so in order to make it easy for you to be seen heard and noticed online you have to publish a lot of content and that's obviously clear but i've also mentioned that a couple of times so by now i'm sure you you are very aware that if you want to make a difference and build a global brand doing that online um, it helps you or it's actually a must that you publish content very consistently and the content itself needs to be multimedia marketing uh, sorry it needs to be multimedia based so not just marketing based but multimedia based if you remember we talked about audio video and written content and visual content in terms of um, infographics or images of some sort of thought for example photographs or something like that right so that's highly important that it is multimedia yesterday i explained how i'm able to create so much content and how i gather ideas and then actually get the time to write it and to create it and that brought me to today talking about hustle free content publishing so my tip my number one tip is that you actually need to plan what you actually want to put out and in order to do so the easiest thing to do or the most important thing to do is to start an editorial calendar in terms of your overall objectives meaning if you run a business either product-based or service-based you obviously need to run campaigns right so don't just publish something one off and then a completely disconnected content based whatever whether it's a video or a visual or whatever the next day right so what's important here is that you connect everything that you publish towards a certain particular goal and you would set up those goals before you even actually start to create the content and publish the content right so let me give you an example if you are in the startup phase and you've just begun to become noticed online or nobody is yet or just very few people are actually going to your website which you can find out um, by adding uh, for instance something like Google Analytics or if you use your hosts analytical tools if they provide one for free or even if you have to add it on it's highly important to see whether you actually have traffic right now on your website and after you've checked whether you've website uh, whether you've got traffic on your website you can actually benchmark it and go back and forth to see whether what you publish all your content whether it actually makes sense for people to go to your website and check out your products and services right so the first thing is what is your goal let's assume it's awareness brand awareness right you are brand new you're a startup company not many people have heard about your products and services but you have the super solution to their problem so what you want to do is publish content that makes them aware of the benefits and how your products or services create the solution to their problem 
meaning you would use the keywords. And if you remember a couple of days back, I talked about keywords, the importance of it, because then people can actually find your products online if they search via Google or any other search engine, right? And the only reason why I mentioned Google a couple of times is not because it's my favorite, but it's because it's the most used. So you want to think about those kind of really highly important aspects as well. Back to your editorial calendar, right? So let's assume you run four campaigns a year, right? So you have four major goals in one year. One might be brand awareness, one might be a product sale, one, I mean, a particular sale, let's say it's your Christmas sale or it's your summer sale or something of that th sort. So, um, or if it's not brand awareness or sale, it might be publishing your new book or I don't know, a special, let's assume you're a wedding photographer, then maybe the summertime might be a special for you, whatever those specials might be. So, like I said, let's assume you have four campaigns in a year. Each campaign should roughly run around three months. However, you can have 12 campaigns and allow them to run only for a month. It, it's really up to you and, and plus you can run several campaigns simultaneously like I do oftentimes. However, in order to plan it and to make it hassle free, you would have to plan it, as I said, in an editorial calendar. And what to put in there now that's become that becomes the big question so number one your major goal so your overall goal and then the goal for your campaign for each campaign you run right like I said back to brand awareness if you just want to run a number one campaign for brand awareness you would create as many keyword rich content pieces that actually connect towards your brand and to the products or services or both if you sell both um, and you would do so by planning out weeks in advance so it doesn't really matter whether you start the week on a Monday or on a Sunday that's your preference but you would then line out and plan out what am I going to plan or create for the Monday the Tuesday and so forth and you have to connect that one back to the people you're actually trying to speak to so let's assume you speak to private people, right? So customer, I mean, business to customer or business to um, your consumer, right? So that's the B2C sector. And most people got time at the weekend. That means most likely they will have more time to watch videos over the weekend, so Saturday and Sunday, meaning you have to consider when people are actually online and able to view your content. Then again, if you're business to business, so B2B sector, um, then it's highly important that you actually publish stuff people would find during working hours during the week, right? So let's assume you would be using LinkedIn to publish blog posts, right? That could be part of your campaign. It makes more sense to publish those content items between Monday and Friday and then between office hours as opposed to the weekend. Why? Of course, because most people are in the office Monday to Friday, nine to five, right? And that applies almost anywhere in the world. So that's highly important. You really have to go back to your target client and your target market and consider when will they be online and where will they be online. And this then will be figured in within your um, editorial calendar. And like I said, I always plan several campaigns in one calendar. Obviously, there's no point planning something today for 12 months ahead, generally speaking, because everything changes so fast online. And that's my main key reason why I plan about three months ahead. And that's just the general um, content I create, right? So fresh content, something that comes up today or tomorrow, which I haven't actually planned, will just be added on top of the general content that actually goes out. And when I'm talking about content, as I said before, that applies to video, to audio, to written content, and to visual content in form of pictures or infographics or any type of other images, right? And it's super highly important that you're consistent which is another reason why you want that calendar because then you actually plan 
ahead, you create ahead of time, and it wouldn't bring you in, in any trouble if, for whatever reason, you're either busy and you can't actually get to it, or your uh, business grows so fast that, you, again, once again, you can't get to it. So it's highly important to do that. It would take so much hassle out. Which brings me to publishing tools. So it's not only that you plan it on paper or you plan it in a Word document or any type of document online or if you even will on your phone with a mobile, mobile application, you actually can make use of so many free tools online that actually help you to pre-publish stuff which then get automatically published throughout the day, throughout the week and the year and so forth. So what you could do, for instance, is use an application called Hootsuite, uh, which is amazing because it's actually free to use for up to three channels. So let's assume you run um, a Twitter channel, um, a LinkedIn channel and a YouTube account or Facebook. It doesn't really matter. You can pre-publish up to three for free. So you would create a free account you can connect to your social media channels which obviously makes sense because that's where it's going to go right and then as soon as you have registered you have the opportunity to actually see live feed so you have one column showing you your own live feed then one column showing you your schedule right so your pre-published content and then another column you can choose whatever that might be people you follow or people who follow you back or if you've gotten and gained followers and so forth or just interaction online right you can place them all next to each other you have the ability to pin them so there's a button at the top left hand corner where you could actually choose um, where you want your content to go so you could choose to publish the same content cr and cross share it everywhere or you can just just pin one or two if you wanted to or just a single channel right depending on how many channels you have however other than Hootsuite and I will put the link underneath this description and then also on YouTube I will put it in the description underneath the recording and you can also use YouTube for example offers a free publishing tool for you so meaning if you upload a video you can choose between private so nobody actually has, has access other than you only you can see the video um, unlisted meaning you could actually supply people with the link to your video um, but they wouldn't necessarily find it just like that just by the headline or title and then you have pre-publish so you would upload the video now but you can then open up a calendar and choose on which day and what time you actually want to publish your video and this applies, by the way, also to Facebook. The same, it's almost exactly the same tool. You upload your content, so your blog posts or your comments or your videos. You can share uh, images or put pictures of any type and you can pre-publish publish every, every type of content in there. So once again, it opens up as a calendar and then you choose the time and you also choose the day and then it will automatically go out live Whereas you don't have to sit in front of your PC or computer, your Mac or whatever you use, your phone, right? And you don't have to do that live. By the way, there's a new option on Hootsuite as well where you can actually access your Instagram, which wasn't possible before, but now Instagram has actually, uh, or Hootsuite actually has offered the option that um, mobile applications can now also be pre-published. However, you do need to download an extra application on your phone because otherwise that's not going to work but there are tutorials for free on both platforms teaching you how to do that and if you have any questions in regards to this you can of course always leave me a comment or send me a direct mail or an email however you want to get in touch you can ask me how to do it and I will be happily helping you to set it up so that's about it I would say so like I said number one have an editorial calendar that's linked to your goals and to your overall objective of your business, whether it's products or services, and whether you have a brick and mortar store or an online based store like I have, right? That is highly important. And then number two, create, plan the content, create the content, and then put it into pre-published mode, meaning use the free tool, something like Hootsuite, where you can sign up for three accounts for free, 
or you take a paid price plan. I'm not sure how much it is because it's different for every country, right? So just check it out. By the way, I'm not endorsing them, I'm not connected to them, but I use them and they have actually helped me save so much time and make it hassle free. So I'm recommending that you have a look around the internet and there will be for sure many more other sites you can actually use, but those are just the ones I use. And, um, and like I said, Facebook and YouTube offer exactly the same. You open up a calendar, you choose your day, you choose your time. And a last item I would suggest when it comes to pre-publishing and planning your content is once again to really highly focus on your target market. When are they online and where are they online? It doesn't make any sense to pre-publish something if nobody is awake, right? Meaning if your brand right now isn't global yet, there's no point in publishing stuff in the middle of the night because notification won't come through. And if you do publish it in the middle of the night and somebody opens up, let's say their Facebook account the next morning on their wall, you've already vanished because people will have actually received so many notifications already, depending on how many people they subscribe to or have uh, business pages they've liked and how many friends they have and how much they've published right but otherwise you would just miss out that great opportunity to be actually seen because on Facebook once again you see underneath everything you publish you can see your reach so I could actually see my reach of the past couple of days of the live videos or actually the live video recordings right because, um, and that helps me, helps me not to see necessarily at what time people have watched the video, but it definitely shows me that people were afterwards able to view it. So if it's a video, great, they might come back and have a look. But if it's just a picture, I'm not sure how many people will actually go back and have a look at your albums. I'm assuming that's a very low percentage. I mean, I can't tell you how high, but it must be very low because if you consider yourself, are you really going in and have checking out old pictures? You most likely won't do that, right? I, I never do that unless I'm highly interested in a personal profile rather than a business profile, but I'm not checking out old pictures or visuals of a business profile, right? Like I said, video, maybe vi um, pictures, most likely not. So make sure you publish at times and pre-publish at times where people are actually online, right? So you have to consider where is your target market based? Where, where do they live, right? So assuming going from, uh, from the UK to Canada, most parts are about six hours back. So six hours behind us. If I would want to speak to somebody in Canada, then this time right now live, right? would work because it's um, 22.43 here. So it's quarter to 11 in the UK right now. And that would still be daytime in Canada, right? However, <laughs> the more people I want to try to reach in the UK will very soon go to bed. So it would make no sense to publish loads and loads of items at midnight in the UK if that would be my sole target market, right? would make any sense. So you really clearly have to consider where's your target market base, will they be awake and will they actually see it and you have to think ahead because obviously we are talking about pre-publishing here. So don't just think about today but also actually about your calendar and the plan you've made. And like I said, consider three month campaigns or at least one month campaigns because if you just publish one item for a week, I mean, you are talking about the same product or the same service for a week, people are most likely not able to see it because there's so much stuff going on live on the internet every single day, every single minute, every second, really. So you have to make sure you talk about it more often, right? So you, you need to be seen more often. And as you have most likely heard about it, it takes up to seven times for a person to recognize your brand so meaning, even if you pass a billboard seven times, well, most people, because they're so overloaded with information and so bombarded with content and with advertisement everywhere, they need seven times to actually recognize a brand's imagery and typography. So meaning the font they've used, the color scheme they've used, the name of the brand, the more times they see you, they're actually gonna remember you hopefully like you and then trust 
to buy from you because if you consider online based businesses you don't know who is behind so you really need to build trust which will be the theme of tomorrow's live cast so thanks ever so much i can't see any live questions or comments right now thank you so much for watching um if you do have a question i will give you about a minute like i always do right if you don't have a question in terms of what i was talking about today or something related to it or if you actually do but i'm gone in a minute then you can still direct mail me and or leave the comment below the video right and the same applies for everybody watching this video on youtube after i've uploaded it okay i think that's it for today i've talked about pre-publishing and the tools you can use and the most important aspects now comes my call to action if you haven't already join the global brand success club which will give you so much training so much content only 19 dollars in your first month i believe that's amazing if you love it it's gonna be 49 onwards if you don't love it but why wouldn't you you can cancel at any time if so if you want to build your global brand and if you want to make your products and services stand out within the mess really of the internet join us now i'll leave the link the direct link underneath this video in the comment section let me know what you think let me know whether this actually helped you and i hope you have a lovely day good night and a good i don't know today is tuesday but i know in australia again like i said <laughs> think about where your target market is so i'm not basing it on time just have a good good day right or night <laughs> that's all for now goodbye i'm naomi mclaughlin ciao